working to get these dishes done uh, before Fran gets home. But you might be watching the debate tonight. I mean, I'm going to watch it for sure. Um, Society of the Spectacle uh, or whatever. Um, but without getting too uh, philosophical on anything, I just, you know, if you think that every, like, liberal or every Democrat is awesome, you know, your team Biden, man, and you were with her, and before that, you know, yes, we can, and all that stuff, and, and you think that these folks can do no wrong, that's weird, and not, and not, first of all, like, not correct by any stretch, and, uh, I don't know, it's a weird, I think it's a weird path to take, and, and same goes for the other side, if you're, like, a Republican, and you're, like, justifying all the weird crap that Donald does, like, oh, well, I'm a Christian, but, like, you know, this obviously terrible dude is, like, a flawed messenger of our uh, prophecy or whatever, like, that's weird too, man, like, it's okay to call a spade a spade and be like, this guy's a boob, and, you know, sure, he's getting all these judges through, but I can't in good conscience, like, get on board with him as a person, because he sucks, and, I don't know, man, like, I can name a bazillion Democrats, uh, liberals, uh, whatever you want to call them, that are terrible, you know, they're out for number one, they're gaming the system, you know, Nancy Pelosi's a, a rich lady, and I look at her as a rich person, not someone who understands, like, what the hell I might need, or someone, you know, on a different station in life uh, might need, and I can do a whole video for 10 minutes where I do nothing but read a list of awful Democrats, uh, not even say anything about them, just, like, read the list of names, <laughs> you know, probably be a 10-minute video, uh, but I'm, like, willing to admit that, you know, because, like, it's just life, right, like, there's some great politicians, definitely. And there's some awful ones, obviously. But, like, you know, most of them are somewhere on that spectrum in between. And I find that, you know, that's kind of true from a lot of things. Uh, people would ask me stuff like, oh, you lived in New York City, and then you moved to San Diego. Like, what was that like, man? Those places are so different. Like, you know, and they, I feel like folks might have had assumptions, like, from, like, 80s and 90s movies that, like, New York was a big, scary, uh, dangerous place full of, like, fast talking uh, folks who are out for number one and time is money or whatever and they're just jerks and like oh San Diego must have been this like hippie paradise of surfers and what have you and like you know stereotypes exist for a reason there's like something to both of those things but like there were awesome people in New York and there were terrible people in New York but again you know like all manner of in between is you know usually the case same thing in San Diego I met some awesome people out there in Pacific Beach everywhere else PV bruh and they were great. And there were some dickheads. Um, and, you know, a bazillion things in between. Um, it's a different style. Sure, it's a different place. But, like, what I'm saying, I, I gotta get out of this video. It's three minutes long already. These politicians aren't angels. They're not demons either. There's no cosmic war being fought for, like, our souls or what. These are dudes, man. These are just dudes and chicks. And when they wake up in the morning and they have their coffee, they drop a big old deuce like I do, and probably you too, because they're just dudes, they're just chicks, and they can be great, and they can be terrible, but they're probably somewhere in between, so, you know, don't put them on a pedestal, they're not, you know, as much as CNN makes it feel that way, it's not WWF wrestling here, it's not like some zero-sum game where there's winners and losers, like, these folks are, like, writing our laws, man, like, let's take it seriously.